Well, it, it was uh, uh, written quickly and conceived quickly and uh, purely, and there was uh, restraints put on it as far as space and so forth. And I, I, I enjoy those types of uh, narratives, right? And so, you know, we just cooked it up all together. Yeah, I think there was like seven, believe it or not, seven versions of this script. Uh, yeah, about like four days. Yeah, about, yeah, at least, yeah, three or four days. <laughs> My family, when I left Stanner today, they said, Daddy, honey, don't take those fucking stupid glasses with you when you go to the big city. And I, I did, man. <laughs> anyway, I try to lose them, but I can't see. Working with Tony, it was our third movie we've done with him. The first one to be finished, but the, the, the third kick at the can with you. Um, I feel like left to your own devices. Uh, <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this script was sort of in the cosmos on the first draft, so I, with Tony, we, uh, he's, it's brilliant when you get the script in, but I feel like you know, we, we have to like harness your just unbridled, bizarre, and craziness. Uh, at the end of the day, we have to... Yeah, yeah. No, and we were, I mean, we would argue well, all the time. Why, there's that's versions of... You because, you know, your, your limits are further away than most people's, right? <laughs> so it's cool. So, I mean, over the course of these several drafts, did, like, what, what other directions did you consider pursuing? Well, there, was, uh, there wasn't, you know, it, it evolved uh, from a very simple story, and then, but we had all these restrictions on it, and they were all space restrictions, mm -hmm. you know, in the, in the thing, and... and uh, you can bring, we, you know, we challenge ourselves, you know, bring it out to the house, you know, bring it up to this thing, but you're not going to explain this thing because that would take you to another location. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so the, the explanation is somewhere else. And th that, that's part of the, the film is headless, which uh, is the Bataille reference, uh, that it has no head and so it has no mouth to, to uh, tell the story, so it's told... With, with, a, with, with, ass, with an asshole. <laughs> and, because uh, the head's gone. Yeah. The mind is gone as well, so there's no, there's no art mm -hmm. to, to create. And so, it's just a record of the noises that the assholes are making. I want to read every draft of the screen. In the movie. Yeah, we shot it uh, in our hometown of Collingwood, where we do a lot of our, where we're sort of based out of, where we operate out of. Um, we had a big parcel of land where this gentleman also the production designer, so we built a huge, I don't know, 20 foot tall septic tank that we were all 30, 40 feet tall, yeah, and we were crammed in there for 10 days, I think, and uh, no, it's sort of nice to, to shoot up there, and this was the first film we actually set in Canada, which, uh, you know, usually it's a nondescript American town, you know, but th but this time, uh, working with Tony, you know, we were we really wanted to set it in our, in our hometown, because we've been making films there for almost 10 years. You can talk about the set. You spent six weeks building it. Sure. <laughs> yeah, the set was, uh, it was massive. I mean, most people don't think that we built it. It was uh, uh, 20 by 20 by 20, I think it was. Or 18 by 18 by 20. I think it's wild that you can be a second leading man and turn into a shit thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks, Tony. Um, but yeah, it was, it was just, it was a massive build. It was a month and, uh, month and a half almost of building, so uh, it was definitely no uh, task trying to get used to the tank and become comfortable with it. It became home very quick. And, uh, you got sick, sick as hell. <laughs> yeah, and it was cold. It was very cold. We shot it in fall. Uh, there was a lot of illness in that, in, on that set. Yeah. <laughs> uh, in that opening scene. In the opening scene, you know the one where uh, uh, Nicole is struggling with her hands and stuff like that. Not speaking properly, and shooting shit out of her ass. That scene. <coughs> well, oh yes, yes, of course, yes. She threw up in the middle of that scene. For real, that was. Yeah, she threw up right at her feet, and then it was like you know, and, and she was great. Just keep going, keep going, and nobody had to fucking manage this the set at all because. <laughs> it was just there, it was cute, and we just didn't, we know. And then Buddy rolls around and starts throwing up. <laughs> the crew were throwing up every once in a while in the tank, and everybody could just work with it. You can't, you don't clean it up because it's, you know, 
it's good. It's right, you know. <laughs> so, right, so there, but it was, you know, it was pretty nasty. But everybody sort of baptized themselves in the end. Dove in for like the fourth thing, right? The last, after the boom, boom, boom was out, everybody jumps in the water after gets their hair good and wet and all that. Oh. <laughs> I know, they just sat to the movie. Come on, this is... Well, I consulted with Tony. I guess this is the third project that we've all worked on back to back. So we've built up a kind of a vocabulary where we trust each other, we go with a, a framework, and uh, we just put ourselves to it. I mean, for me, it was comparatively simple. I just had to come in and act. These guys were wearing a number of hats. And uh, I, I don't know. Um, Tony's very, uh, very easygoing in terms of... Uh, the, the minutiae of dialogue and the way that you deliver things. And he's, he allows the actor to make their own interpretation, but he's very specific about the world that he's created. So you just have to dive into the world of Tony Burgess. And that's fun. It's a fun thing. I mean, at one point you said you're, it's sort of like a Samuel Beckett play, Endgame, where it's, like, it's about a guy in a trash can, is, is it not? So, so I think you came to me and said, I want to do a chamber play, but call it a chamber pot play. Yeah. I, I, the first version of the script, we didn't ever leave the septic tank. The whole thing was, was just set there. And I think I came to you and said, we, we, we should give them a little bit of scope. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah, yeah, yeah. there'd be 90 minutes of nonstop uh, yeah, yeah. septic action. But, you know, we, we uh, were deliberate about saying that the frame was up that far. You know? And you're not, you're not going <clears> to... <throat> who is the consortium? I mean, because the film, like I said before, uh, its head is off, so you can't find the consortium or the thing that you know, guarantees the meetings that are being exchanged here. You know, the consortium has no access to it. No head. Yeah. Once your head's gone, you know what I'm saying, right? Oh, yeah. You're talking about that?